Okay, this video is going to be a, kind of a garage makeover. So, just want to show you the current situation. So, it is normally a lot cleaner than this. This area is normally open and free. Um, but as you can see at the back here, I do have shelves going across all of the back that are fully loaded, which is now all this junk on the floor. And uh, basically, what I'm doing is um, taking everything off the walls, um, taking all the units down. And I'm putting down black uh, drawer mat flooring, the grey stripe up the middle to kind of separate things, and then on this side, I'm going to put um, some black uh, Stanley storage units that look uh, pretty good. And then uh, in a different video, probably I'm looking to see if I can get uh, a nice black um, tool chest to keep my tools in it all kind of fit in with it. So the idea is to try and make it look a much cleaner and smarter garage setup. Okay, so I'm just about to start the garage overhaul. The, the units are here, the flooring is here. So uh, now I just need to put my finger out and get on with it. So I'll just quickly show you the flooring. Uh, it's not exactly as expected. So these are the ramps that we're gonna put at the edge of the garage to, uh, to get the cars in and out. These are the gray um, tiles that are gonna go down the middle and uh, all of these tiles are made from recycled plastic and that's kind of where you'll see a little bit of the issue that I wasn't expecting. These all black ones, the little bits are different colored white, blue, green bits of plastic um, that are part of the mix. So not 100% black, but if I tried to send them back, they could have the same issue again. So I don't think it's going to be that noticeable when they're down. But uh, yeah, we kick off the time lapse, uh, move the cars around, uh, get the bikes out and uh, yeah, get this build happening.
so it's been a few weeks since the time lapse and lots of moving stuff around and getting things set up, but we're now finished. Give you a little show around of the completed garage. So um, I'll pop to the other side of the camera and take you through kind of what's changed, what the end result looks like. Okay, so a little bit of uh, footprint marks there because it's been out on the stones, but this is kind of how things look now in terms of the floor. I'm pretty happy with how the floor's turned out actually. Um, the speckled kind of colour does help mask do it a little bit. Um, and yeah, kids have been in here as well, so just we need to keep on top of it. Let's give things a mop. Um, I've set up my air blaster here on the wall now, so it's kind of permanently fitted, so it makes it a bit easier to use to try and get out of the cupboard all the time, but it's a bit unwieldy as well with this cable, so having that kind of done there is pretty good. And I've got one of my uh, CTEC chargers connected up um, to charge the bike, so that's all good. Moving over here, this is my new uh, Halfords Advanced tool chest. So I took you through a little bit what I had here. I had a, a smaller red Halfords kit before, which was good. Um, I had it quite a few years now, about seven years, I think. Uh, but it wasn't quite as deep and it wasn't black to go with the rest of the stuff. Um, but you can see, let's try and keep things really organized. So this helps me with my OCD pleasures quite well. So I'll show you. I've got all things kind of set up into different categories that make sense to me and how I'm using stuff. Um, but yeah, it just means, especially if you're working on cars and bikes and other projects, it doesn't take you forever to kind of find everything you need, everything you're looking for. And I got these um, in the Halfords Eater sale, so they're not uh, super cheap, but I got them for 40% off, so that helps things be a little bit more uh, palatable, but these things will last a, lot, know, a lifetime if you look after them. So for me, I feel it's worth it and helps you keep all your tools kind of nicely stored and organised. And um, I got this little STP seat bench I've had for a while. I got that from home base in a closing down sale. Okay, so moving up at the top, I've got um, some of my quad stuff. I used to have all of them um, on the wall, but now I just have the one I use the most, which is my TBS Discovery. Got my receiver here and my FPV gear and the charger. Got the T, um, the um, Caprahania wing, which has been semi rebuilt now. I need to have a go at flying again. And um, my old uh, Tamiya holiday buggy up there. So that's all this stuff kind of up out of the way. This, uh, these shelvings and uh, cabinets are new. So I'll take you through kind of how I've got things up in here. This one is. Kind of a junk, junk one. It's just got all of my RC kind of boxes and gear into so all RC stuff. I'm slightly worried it might be a little bit uh, too heavy, but this is a cupboard that I still need to kind of clear out and sort out a little bit. Okay, next, just then a little tabletop uh, on top of these uh, cupboards. I've put a motion sensed uh, LED strip under there, so whenever there's any movement, this lights up, so make it. Um, Helpful and easier if you need to do any work on there. Not sure how well this wooden top will last, um, but it looks uh, pretty nice. And then here, again, I've got motion sensing LEDs. So when the cupboards are open and you go in them, they will all light up. I've just got kind of car stuff, uh, servicing and things down here with a touch up paint and then miscellaneous kind of tools, accessories at the top of this one. Oh, pretty good. And then this is the main one, the uh, the big cabinet. So again, I put motion sensing LEDs inside of here that will turn on. And then we have all of my car cleaning and maintaining gear, all kind of neatly arranged here, so it's easy to get to. I don't know why that light hasn't come on in the bottom there. There we go. Yeah. So. That's it. Uh, nice and organised and kind of keep things all hidden away so things just look a little bit tidier when you first come into the garage. Okay, so moving around a little bit, a little bit of gym gear on the wall uh, along with my electric skateboard, but this is the, the gym section. I had this all set up before, still using the same uh, gym pads that I was using previously. I had given them a clean, but now you can see from walking on the stone, so there's a little bit of uh, footprint marks on there. Don't know if you can see it from the um, the build video, but I have 
two sets uh, of colours here. So black on either side for where vehicles go and this grey area is just a, an area to keep clear. So if there's nothing in there that means the, the door of the car will always open uh, fine. On this wall I have my uh, kind of little wall of Nerf guns. don't know how well you can see that from here. They used to be on the back wall but down it's been cleared up a little bit for that. Uh, one of the, another C-Tech charger on that wall and along with the, uh, the window cleaning hose there. And then just my Karcher kind of cleaning gear and all the wash buckets and stuff on the sides. And then these are a couple of new things that I got a while ago but now put up in the garage is somewhere to store my helmets and uh, some of the motorcycle gear. I don't really suffer too much uh, from spiders in here because I keep it relatively clean and um, so I'm relatively confident that they're going to be okay but I will kind of keep on top of it. But uh, yeah I'm really happy with how things have turned out. I think it looks much neater, much more organised and the floor has come out uh, pretty well as well. Just uh, yeah, really perhaps we should take our shoes off when we come in here in future. But uh, yeah. I'm pretty happy with how things turned out. Please leave um, comments down below. Let me know what you think. Perhaps you've done something with your garage. Perhaps it's inspired some ideas. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter? And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest? Thanks again for watching.